Hi, I'm Rob Jones and I'm here at Jason Air Studios with Kern Heldens. Hi Rob. Hello there. Kern is a hip-hop mix engineer who arrived on the scene from a very original route, uh, starting out his career as a trance producer in Holland. Now that was back in 2005 that one of your tracks was noticed by the A&R man for... Jewel Santana. Cool. Um, what did that lead to? A string of various work within the uh, hip-hop community, including work for Lil Wayne, most recently, we demoed two tracks for Beyonce's new album. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year, I finished a track in this very same studio for Keisha White. That is obviously her new single. And ever since January, I'm the exclusive mix engineer for a platinum producer, Chad Beats, from Miami. Excellent stuff. So, as we can see, um, you produce uh, and mix stuff on Pro Tools HD. That's correct. Um, and We've got a liquid mix right here, which you use for your compression and EQ. Yes. Uh, now over here on the side, just off camera, we've got um, an ISA 430 Mark II. Um, and one of the bits, bits of vintage kit we've got out the back there, what's that bit? That's our old vintage Neve 2254. This is one of the bits that's actually emulated inside the liquid mix. How do you think the emulation fares against the original? Uh, in my opinion, very close. The other day we had a session going on and the producer had a tiny piano sound in there which came from one of the keyboard modules, I think, from Logic. Mm -hmm. uh, what we did, we ran it through the Liquid Mix, through the Neve 2254 emulation and surprisingly it got lifted up and the track sounded much fuller. And even though it's still digital, it gave a little bit of warmth. Nice one. So, other than the Neve emulation, which emulations do you like to use? Um, I'm really a big fan of the DBX emulations, basically all of them, the 160s, the 165s, I really use them on my kick drums mm -hmm. and on vocals to give that spark, that star kind of sound. I love to use uh, the Avalon 2044 emulation or even sometimes the 737. Great. So what um, other features do you particularly like about the liquid mix? Um, as you can see, the bottom row has quite a lot of features. Mm -hmm. um, starting off with the free function, that is a feature I really love. If you have an old vintage compressor, it started out usually back in the day with a few controls, like one or two, just the gain reduction and the release or whatever. And this function actually enables all the functions possible on a compressor, which is extremely creative and helpful for your emulations that you want to use on whatever material it, it might be. Great. One other thing is the post or pre-post compressor EQ, mm -hmm. which is a mode I really find handy if I sidechain material, yeah. like DS vocals or make space in my drums. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an incredible handy function that I really enjoy on the liquid mix. And lastly, you mentioned the portability and how that's particularly useful for your line of work. That's correct. Um, as you can see, it's a, a small piece of device it doesn't need external power, so I can just hook up the device with my MacBook Pro, go on the plane, because I travel between London, New York and LA, so it's very convenient to have an actual piece of gear in my collection that I can connect directly, plug and play to my laptop and load in my Pro Tools session for whatever client I have at that time that I'm going to do in whatever city mm -hmm. and prepare my whole session with the liquid mix. That's great. Cohen, thank you very much. Thank you.